Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome to Dracula, a game that I think is personally completely underrated and deserving of a remaster as soon as possible. Now, believe it or not, the copy I've got here has taken so much work to get going. This copy I'm playing today is the original copy I bought back in 1997. And jeez, my computer does not like it. It has taken a hell of a lot to get this to work as much as it is. And I have quickly test played this. And unfortunately, even though it's coming up today, it's not going to be a series because it's just... I don't think it would make a very good entertaining series. One off, I'm going to show it and you'll start to see some of the issues I'm having with it and why I really wish someone could make a remaster of this. The only problem is, as I say, I've looked into it because I've tried to get a digital copy of it. You can't because it's now abandoned wire. So unfortunately, yes. Um, don't know what the chances are of this ever being picked up and remastered. But I just wanted to show you it. I just wanted to show it off. It is an amazing game. I think it was completely overlooked. And I wish somebody would pick it up. Now, Dracula, despite the name, is not about vampires. Bit of a weird one. And we'll let the introduction in a moment sh explain that to you. But yes, it is a turn-based, real-time strategy game. And as I say, I loved this when I was younger. And I am pretty shocked when I was going through a box of my old stuff and I found this disc in it. So that's what made me decide that, yeah, I was going to show this off. So without any further ado, let's get into the introduction. Let the game explain itself what it's all about, and then we'll get in and we'll have a look at why I love this game so much. In the dark ages of the 15th century, the Turkish army invaded the shores of Valachi. Their bloodthirsty swords struck deep into the heart of the land, which soon became a western outpost under the Turkish Sultan. The invaders placed a loyal nobleman on the throne, and the people of Valachi suffered due to his cruel regime. But deep in the forests of the Transylvanian mountains, a small number of freedom fighters were struggling to recapture their country. They were led by the former ruler of Valachi, Count Vlad, furthermore called Dracula. Okay, so there we go. That was the introduction, and that is all you were ever told about the basics of the game. And here we go. Here is your rebel forces that we have available. So, we've got in the dark blues here, we've got some crossbowmen. The light blue are your swordsmen. These are your... Battering Rams, and we've got one Knight. Fog of War, can't see what is going on. Although there is tech that you can get later on to remove that Fog of War, what is pretty good. And there is the castle we need to take. So we know where it is, and that's all the information we've got. So, very simple, select your troops, move them around, take back the castle. So... I can remember, thankfully, some of the shortcuts. And yes. the big issue with this, and uh, it's still here today, yeah, um, the pathfinding wasn't the best on it. So, you might get a little bit of issues with that. But I do remember these levels pretty well. So, yes. as I say, it's turn based and real time. So, obviously. The actual fighting itself is the real time, and we'll get to the turn-based 
in a bit. So, please get up there, please. And yeah, I kind of getting shot there because I'm just rushing this bit because I'm not really paying attention while talking. But yeah, they do kind of end up getting under each other's feet sometimes, but they'll make it there eventually. Might take a few losses, but it's fine. Okay. Well, you seem to have run off up there, so just move you up a little bit. Where have you gone? I don't know. So, okay. I'll hook you down in a bit. Right, let's just get the troops up to the castle walls. And, yes. Yeah. New use up to there. Um, we kind of lost more bowmen than I was hoping for, but we should still be good. Wait a minute, did I just. No, I thought I heard someone fighting. And yes, you can, if you do, do it wrong, you can end up actually losing your entire troops and getting a game over on this first level. What? I find quite amusing, actually, that you can actually fail this early. Okay, so... Swordmen are ready. Crossbowmen... Just get behind them for now. There's me knight. You get that. And... Yeah, unfortunately, these are taking a bit of time to get up there. Okay, everyone's in position. Use... Go and attack that gate quickly. And you I'm surprised you're not I can say you're not taking fire, you are now. It's fighting back, but go get you out of there as quick as I can. Not that it matters, but there we go. You just get on to them. They've got a catapult up there. So send no, send my knight. Back up there because yes, as I say, the pattern and AI on this was not that good back in the um, early, late 90s. So yeah, things can get a little bit frustrating. Okay, that's your knight down. That is. Yeah, come on, take that down. Use go and help out, please. Because the one thing about catapults is. Yeah, they can take your men down pretty quick. And you've got a fair whack of... Oh, there we go. Done. Now. There we go. Victory there. We've taken it all. Everybody's dead. And welcome to the world map. This is where the turn base comes into it. And yep, yeah, so this is what we own up here. This is the troops we can train at the moment. And this is everything we've got to try and recapture. We've got our resources. So we've got gold, wood, food, population, and our army. So there's the troops we've got at the moment. That will update on the next turn to include them. But that's all we've got for now. We've got the map. What well, obviously we now need to repair the keep. Repairing fortification. Don't get that repair. That's one gold to repair the wooden doors. Quick brief info on the area we've got selected. And our research there so we can get better troops, better architecture, and give us better things to fight back with. So first thing we need to do is train up some troops because we don't have too many. Now, what we can do is, and this is one of the issues we've got at the minute, is trying to open up the map again. Okay, so eventually managed to get in. And yeah, everybody is stood right where they were at the end of the last fight. And now obviously we can see everything because we own it. So, now the best thing to do is get your troops yes, set up and ready to defend because we will be attacked. And it's random. You could be attacked on your first go. You could be attacked, you know, 
three, four turns, you don't know. The attacks can come in at any time. What nowadays you'd expect, but back then, oh, back then that was something that was something out of the ordinary, not knowing when things were going to be coming. So, unfortunately, yeah, we're down several crossbowmen. So, for now, let's just get a couple of them up on the defences. And again, nowadays, very basic, but back then, it was different that your troops on higher ground actually got an advantage. So, that'll do for now. Right, that's all I can do. Okay, that's all we can do for now. So, let's end our turn. And, good. We were okay, we didn't get attacked. So, we've repaired up our fortification. And what we can do when we get the techs at the moment, yeah, we've got no tech. We can, if we wanted to, upgrade the bridges, we can upgrade the fortification, or we can build new ones. But unfortunately, yeah, the only thing we can build at the minute is wooden bridges. Personally, I don't see the point in when you're defending, adding more bridges. But, you never know. Could be tactical reason. I never figured out a good enough reason for that. So, okay, let's just... Skip forward a bit. There we go. There's some troops trained and sword soldiers. Get another one in. So yeah, these five. You get five crossbowmen for each one and five swordmen. And 150. I need to start upgrading my troops. Okay, got to week eight and I haven't been attacked, so that's pretty good. And I've now got yet yeah, seven turns. I can upgrade. And there we go. Week nine. We're being attacked. So, now it becomes the reverse. We've now got to defend our castle. Although, I've not been back in to actually move anyone around. So, yeah, everybody is kind of just dumped there. But, yeah, we can actually see where they're coming from up here. And it doesn't look like there's that many of them. So, let's just quickly grab a couple of crossbowmen up there. And a few more... Just shove you up that way. There we go. You can fire over the walls. Yeah, don't want to get too many because they're bringing that battering ram in. We want to um, take that down. That's it. You just move down there. There we go. That's dead. So that's... Oh! And they brought a cannon. Yeah, they start full tech. They have their tech maxed out from the word go. So, you are at a really serious disadvantage, although their numbers are not that big, thankfully. Yeah, if they came with the big attacks that they can do later on in the game, then yeah, you'd be wiped out in one go. So, thankfully, yeah, they only send small things in. So, you know what? While they're attacking my walls and trying to do that, send up some more. Get up there. Come on. That firing. Okay, you've taken part of my wall down. Yeah, never attack the back of a fortification. Because, yeah, you've got two pieces to get through. And they're going to do it, aren't they, with them two cannons. So, let's just bring you up there, please. So, I've got some swordmen ready to go. Although I don't think they're going to have too many troops left. There we go. The walls are down. They'll come in. But, yeah. My knight and sword should take care of that. Come on. There we go. Okay. My knight's about to go down because that's going to get shot. Yeah. But we should have enough crossbowmen and troops to, yeah, deal with these. Just try and move you out of the way, please. Down it goes, no problem. And yep, I'll just repair that wall up on my next turn. 
So what? It's going to cost me 11 gold, two bits of wood, and one turn to do it. Repairing so that's fine. But that's the basics of it. I then train up troops, get better armaments, better defences, and then I can start attacking, moving out, claiming more, meaning I can hold a bigger army, I can hold, you know, better defences, and so on and so forth. So, I'm just going to play on a little bit, and as you can see, at the moment we're on week 9 of 1456, so... I'm just going to play for a little bit and then I'll come back and show you when I'm a bit more stronger, shall we say. Okay, here we are. Bit later on and as you can see, I've managed to take over a good portion of the map. In fact, I think it's about 50-50 once. Yeah, it's actually half the map I've got. And yeah, I've got my tech now up to full. Architecture's level 4, Armament's level 5, no more can do there, and as you can see, I've got cannons, I've got catapults, I've got spies, so yeah, I can get in pretty good, and yeah, I've got a fair number of troops in each place, and I'm currently saving up to upgrade this one, but... I just go over to here a minute. Yeah, the amount of things I can now build is absolutely crazy and brilliant. All the way up to a full-on double walled and moated fortification that is nigh impossible to get through. Especially if you absolutely ram it full of troops. And yeah, the one thing I've not done I've not touched the home county where we started off. So that is exactly the same as I left it. In fact, there's no troops there anymore. They're ones that have just been trained. So, yeah, um, we've kind of moved forward a bit. So, all I'm going to do is... Which one's got me spies in it now? You. You've got me spies. So what I'll do is... I say we head down to this one down here. And we take this back. And you'll start to see some of the issues that mean why I couldn't have done this as a full playthrough. And it is the lag. I don't know what the issue is. You didn't see it in the smaller fights there. But for some reason this game, and it was the same back in 97. So that's why I'm saying it's the game. Although I guess it could be the duct tape holding it together to play. Um, yeah, there's a... Quite a bit of lag in the bigger fights. So, let's get me spies in. And yeah, I'm sending five in. Because it takes four to get this sort of information. So, what I didn't show off is, yeah. I have no information at the moment on any of this area. I can't see it. Send me spies in. One spy will tell me about the resources available in there. A second spy will tell me about the troops. Third spy will tell me about what defences are there. A fourth spy will give me the map. And a fifth spy will let me know where their troops actually are on the map. So, yeah, that's why we're sending them all in. So, send them in now. And that will actually take a couple of turns... For that to actually get me the information. So I don't get that now. Soldiers. Training Let's um, soldiers. just... Training a knight. Building a yeah, cannon. Build them, train them up. Moves these now up to the front line. Because I don't need them back there. Moving the only issue here comes... Yeah, if I was to lose one of these front three. But we should be good for now. There we go. Right, so there we go. The scouts have gone and... Yeah. They send us resource information. Okay. So let's just click on you again. There we go. So Spy 1 has reported the resources. Fine. Scouts reporting. Number 2. Thank you. So we'll get there. It just takes, as I say, it takes a couple of weeks to get everything to come Scouts through. Scouts reporting. Thank you. There we go. And... 
in a minute we should have that so let's just quickly crossbow soldiers. train up a few more training troops sword soldiers. get them moving training in the right soldiers. position training sword soldiers building a catapult and you got left behind last time so let's make Moving sure we don't troops. leave you behind this time right you've got a fair few you've got a good mount that's good right we'll get these in get these last through and then we'll go on the attack there we go next one send us detailed map of the area and next turn we should Moving have their troops training a knife. so that's fine okay right with that done let's attack shall we might as well send everything because yeah you can see where the borders are so the only places this can get attacked from is up north i control it over to the west i control or this one down here so yeah we'll move all of you this will just take me a minute because yeah the game loves to lag as i'm selecting multiple troops they're selected so move you in and let's attack shall we prepare for battle there we go right let's see if they can defend themselves and i should have all the information i need so yeah as you saw in the first one when i had no scouts no nothing the whole map was black out i couldn't see anything and okay this one has actually got themselves yeah a decent fortification down here so yeah, trying to come in through the back now, it's what, two, three, four, like five, dip, maybe six pieces to get through. Whereas if I come round the front, I've only got to get through the gate, so that's not a problem. And thankfully, our spy reports show, yeah, they don't have that many troops. What's fine, but let's have a look, what have we got up here now? And as you can see, yeah. The game is really starting to suffer at the moment. So let's just get our catapult because, yeah, and there are some troops just over here. So I'm going to send yes, use over that way. And yeah, you can see how slow things are moving. Well, it's not as bad as it has been some points during this. Okay. And me catapult, I think. You can start heading down south towards, yeah, the fortification down here. Don't want to get too close. But, yeah, just send you down to the corner for now. At once, sire. I think, are they moving? I think they're moving... I'm trying to use the actual radar, but come on. Where are you? You should be about here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you literally just one off. There we go. Oh, it's just a few knights. Yeah, cannons will take care of these, no problem. So there we go. Thank you. Any more want to come rushing at me? Cannons are really, really overpowered in this. So, I guess it makes sense though, really. Although they are, yeah, as I say, At your really mind. slow. So, just move these a little bit further over that way. Yous are making your way down south. Fine. Oh, there you go, that's you dead. Right, that's them wiped out. And you know what? Yous can start heading down this way. Don't need to bother about them up the top there because yeah, if you take all the fortifications then At once. I'm guessing they kind of like, you know, start going hungry or something because yeah, they do start dying off if you control all the fortifications on the map. Right, um, me knights, let's get you. You can now start heading down as well because you're going to be good. Actually, no, no. You know where you can go. You can just come here as a distraction. At once, sire. That's 
fine. And yeah, catapults and everything are going to struggle to get up on them walls. So I want all of you as well. So crossbowmen, you can join the catapults down here. And so can the swordsmen. Oh, okay, I was just yes. trying to get people into place. Job. And I kind of got a little bit too close to... Yeah, the defense is up here. So, okay, they're attacking. Just move my cannons in. Excuse me. Thank you. Can you just get down there? No. When you start firing, this, that's the frustrating thing is, yeah, they will just move randomly for some unknown reason, but never mind. Right. Come on. That's it. Start firing. Sh shoot them down. And the catapult should be. Oh. Too far, that bit too far. There we go. Yeah, you should be just getting in range to come around the front. So, you used to go and start attacking that. I'll bring your swordsmen down, and then they can, yeah, start to swarm through everything and hopefully kill them off on the inside. One of them's attacking the gate, what's well, fine, while the other one just seems to be sat there doing nothing. Oh, you're attacking him, are you? Fine. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, there you go. There's the gate down. But, yeah, I've got the cannons around the back to fire... You know what? Screw it, we're going in the back as well. So... Just tell them all... Come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that's you down. Okay, it's only three, actually. I thought it was more. Okay, it's not as bad getting through the back as I was expecting. Okay, right. Quickly take care of you. Thank you. Right. You stay there. And where's my crossbowman? They can go through the back, I think. There we go, yeah. They're going to start coming out now to me, so hopefully these cannons, if... Just stop there and start firing on anything that comes in range, please. Okay. I did hit a minute ago. Yeah, a few splats from catapults, so that's fine. Okay, last few there mopping up. There should be no more in... The building, so you know what, while they're just finishing that up, let's get the cannons moving, because the cannons are, yeah, just going to steamroll this next bit. And you. Yeah, so they've got this tower here, guarding the bridge onto this little fortification here. So, okay, cannons, just get down here into position, would you? And then we'll move forward At your command. slowly until, yeah, we can take them out and then we'll move yous across the bridge. What can be quite, again, frustrating to try and get them going over the bridge because the path in, as I said, is not the best. But we now own this one. So just we are on our way, send them up so. to the buildings. Just make sure there's nothing hiding inside any of them. Okay, cannons are finally down here. And to be honest, I'm surprised none of you started firing, but never mind. Right. Let's start use just... There we go. It was like one or two pixels away. It's okay, right. Go on. Get... Down, start firing. Yeah. Even though I told you to go to a certain spot, you'll keep moving. Right. There we go. Come on. Stop running away, you cowards, and get down here. You cannons. You should be able to sort this out. There we go. Right. Come on. Hit them. Thank you. There we go. Down you go. Right. That's the easy part done. Now I've got the difficult bit of trying to get them over this bridge without them getting clogged up. So, okay. Let's see if 
If I tell you it's just to, you know what, screw it, just yes, get fine. to there, and I'll keep an eye on, hopefully, yeah, it's a double bridge, so you should be able, it's usually the smaller bridges that have the main issues on it, of them getting stuck and not being able to path over, you have to like tell them step by step how to get over the smaller ones, but yeah, you should be okay. Because, yeah, they seem to do that for some reason. And on this bridge, it's fine. If it wants to, you know, do a little wiggle, it's fine. But on the small ones, it tries to do that and then gets jammed. So, okay, yeah, we got across there, no problem. Oh, I missed one. Sorry, I didn't see you back there. Come on, you can come and join your friends as well. All right. Hopefully that's you coming over. I didn't hear you say anything, but there we go. Just start firing at whatever you can. That's them down. Yeah, thankfully, yeah, they stay inside. They will not come out to me. So this should be pretty okay. Yeah, because if they've got no range, then there's no at issues. So... Yes, master. And the one thing I like about this one as well is when you're defending it, yeah, I can just put your cannons there and hold the bridge. So, it's quite a nice one this is to defend. But, yeah. Yeah, it looks like all you've got is a couple of swordsmen and a battering ramp. And this is ours. Well, we've had everything and just whatever they are up the top up there. Now, don't shoot the doors. There we go. Right, is that it? Come on. Just go and fire on that for me, please. Okay, none of you seem to figure it out, so I'll tell you myself. You come round the side here, and then you shoot at it. Right, that should be it. Because, yeah, we'll do that, and then... I don't have... I mean, a cord. Have I got... Okay, you know what? I'll send me knights up there just to see what it is. These two, I mean, they'll probably starve to death once I've taken that one, but they're up there. Okay, let's see what yous are. Yes, master. Okay, here they are. And, oh, arches, no, 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 get away, get away, you're dead. No, nope, get, oh, wow, you actually survived that, okay. At once. Run, let's get away, might just be, oh, they're actually following you, okay, okay. They're following you, bring them down here then, please. At once, there you my go. lord. Ooh, okay. That works out better than I thought. I wasn't expecting them to come running after me. But if you want to do that, go for it. Right, you can chase it. And why have you not killed this one yet? Where the... I have no idea. But you know what? Fine, let's just do it. Use three. Just throw a cannonball at that for me. Thank you. And now, yes, get inside... No, don't jam each other up. Again, okay, this is the issue with... Yeah. This is one of the issues with it being such an old game as well. The pathing was not very clever back then. Right. You're going off somewhere, even though I told you just to stop there. Thank you. You kill them. They're still chasing them knights down. What's fine. Thank you. And just get in there and just poke your cannon in and make sure there's no one hiding. Oh, are they actually still following or I don't know. No, I didn't say that. Get over there. There we go. No, no one in there. Fine. This is ours. And these should now start losing health because I own both the castles. And if we just listen in. There you go. They say you might hear one of them die. Yeah. So these will end up dying before they even get anywhere. What will mean victory for us? One last fella left. I'd like to think that he's eaten his friends to survive this long. He's turned to cannibalism to survive long enough to get this far. But unfortunately, there's no food left, and there he goes. That's why I like to think of anyway the reason why they end up dying. 
and there you go, that's another county I own. I can now move my spies off to somewhere else to get information, rinse and repeat, and we carry on steamrolling up until we get to their actual main capital, where then we are in for one hell of a fight. And I mean, it is such a big fight. You need a lot because they have the ultimate, and actually, I've just realized I've got quite a bit there. So let me just, before I do that, you wasn't, yeah. I can actually upgrade you to full. So 18 turns. Okay, let's just show this off, because some I want to show off. Okay, 19 turns because I am five gold short. Fine. I'm going to be a little bit more short because I've got to repair these. So, repairing stronghold. Just, yeah, and you can only repair one at a time, so that's fine. Right, I'll just repair you. Okay, there we go. So, got enough now. All right, let's upgrade this. Upgrading. And we'll show that off to end it with so you can see what the ultimate defense is. Okay, so it's a few turns later and it has been upgraded. So let's have a nice look at this. And yeah, this is kind of the ultimate one because yeah, you get enough troops in this and it's impossible to get in. You can stack the walls with crossbowmen. I mean, stack them. And nobody's getting past this. So, just that alone, with the water... You, you're going to lose a couple of troops, but you get enough crossbowmen, and nothing is sent against you. And should you be unlucky enough, or you not be able to defend it enough, yeah, you've got your inner one as well, that you can pack full of troops as well. So, it is pretty well defended, and you can hide troops in these buildings as well so yeah if you wanted to you you know you defend your walls and they're gonna fall pack a load of um swordsmen or knights in here and then when they break through the your gate and come in you can send them to ambush them so there's plenty of tactics and plenty of different things you can do but yeah this is the ultimate one and it's nice to have one and uh, by the end of the game, you'll probably have several of these throughout the map. But, yeah, I just wanted to show this one off because, as I say, it is like the biggest, best defensive one there is. Although, yeah, I don't really have many troops at the moment defending it. Although, saying that, these probably could defend it. If I put these in the right position, these could probably defend it without taking too many casualties. So, we'll never know. But, yeah. That is the end for now. This is Dracula and I just wanted to show it off. I found this and I just wanted an excuse to show it off and show everyone a game I used to love playing. Next Wednesday we will be back. I don't know yet what it's going to be. In fact, keep an eye on the community tab because I will be putting a poll up tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I'm going to go through a couple of games that I wouldn't mind playing. I'm going to put a poll up tomorrow for you all to have a look at and let you decide which series we do next for our Retro Wednesday series. But in the meantime, I'm just saying Katie Four. This has been the really severely overlooked Dracula. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>